goddammit. Hey Ricky, you there? I'm uh I'm gonna be gone for a while. I'm gonna need you to cover for me. Skiz is gonna wonder why I'm not out on marsh duty or whatever the hell. Hey Deke. What's up? Boozers, uh hell. He's depressed or something. Talk bad. I think I know a way to cheer him up. What do you do? Uh, I thought I'd maybe head to O'Leary Mountain, get his bike, and bring it back. That's a long way to go on foot. Let's figure something out. Are, are you gonna cover for me or what? O'Brien, I'm at one of your beacons, the one near Camp Creek. Uh, there's nothing here. Hold on. Uh, okay. A field op should be there any minute. You know the drill. O'Brien out. Yeah, I know the drill. Try not to get my ass shot off while being your goddamn peeping Tom. St. John out. Yeah, so what was that all about? I mean, last time we talked, it sounded like you were pissing your hazmat suit. It's nothing. Like I told you there are people above me who don't want us to know what's going on. I need the area too close. I'm You know okay. what? I don't give a shit. All I want from you is information on Sarah. Wait a minute. I've got someone working on it. It's it's gonna take time. I guess you have to be patient. Yeah. I got a lot of choice here, do I? This research group isn't part of my unit, so I can't track them after this op. I need you to... Place a tracker on their chopper. Yeah, yeah, I get it. Oh, and you want me to spy on the guy wearing the white spacesuit? Yeah, anything else? Yeah, try not to get your ass shot off. Your, uh, calm was still open before. Don't think of it as blood being a beating Tom. It's more like opposition research. I'll bring it out. No matter what you call it, I'm of stage 2 infection. <laughs> Tendons in the hands and fingers are less constricted, fingernails less claw-like, as if recently chewed. Additionally, the subject is wearing jewelry what? and clothing less tattered and worn than... Hey, sorry. Couldn't help overhearing. Ah, the gun-toting biology major. 
Yeah, something like that. So, it's wearing jewelry. What's the significance of that? These things have been out here for two years, scratching and clawing at us and each other. Yeah. Try putting a gold watch on a baboon for two years. Set it loose in the wild and see what happens to it. <laughs> okay, okay, I get your point. This watch looks new. Really? So? So, that means this subject has either been taking care of it, or has recently... Recently put it on. Shit, I thought they were all... You know... That shit crazy? Yeah, they are, but... Just as some late-stage dementia patients could still have moments of lucidity, victims of stage 2 virus infections seem to retain some level of vestigial memory. any trouble. So, it's 
is that some freaks get up in the morning, they shower, they get dressed, they put on their favorite gold watch, they kiss their wife goodbye, then they head out the door for a fun day of eating us and shitting themselves. Why the hell are these guys wasting their time with this shit? <sighs> Hope you got all that, O'Brien. Okay, now I just gotta get the hell out of here. Noon yet? You guys only think of your stomachs. O'Brien, you there? O'Brien! Hold on. Jesus. Yeah, I'm here. I planted your tracking device and I got your data. The researcher, were they male or female? What? What? Why? What time is it? Was it a man or a woman? Uh, it was a woman and... No, I didn't catch your name. Okay. I'll be in touch. O'Brien out.
see what I can do. It should work. this. Off the tank. <gasps> Needed this. Done. Hey, I brought you something. Wait, what the fuck? You you went up and got my bike? Well, I didn't want Cope getting it, parting it out. Jesus, Dick. Hey, I mean, I mostly did it, you know, in case I need parts. It's not like your gimp ass is gonna need them. Shit. Thanks, brother. Yeah, that's the one thing I miss. Riding on the open road. Deke, 
Addie just wanted me to tell you that she paid some men to go get your bike and bring it back. It's over at the mechanic shop. Oh, wait, what? You're welcome, Deke. Ricky out. What do you need? You got something to say about it? Hey man, start with this. Just looking around. Shit. No idea how to fix it. Got fuel if you need it. Don't get in my way. If you're just gonna stand there... Check back later, I guess. What can I get you? <laughs> Come back if you remember what you want. See you around. How's it going? St. John. This is Mark Copeland at Deacon St. John. Hey, Cope. What's up? Just checking in. A couple of my men were up to the top of O'Leary Mountain the other day. Said they found a safe house set up in an old Forest Service watchtower. Is that right? Yes, sir. That's what I'm told. They said it was abandoned, but 
Yeah. Funny thing. How's it going? Whoever lived there left behind a bike. Okay. Good got shape it. too, by the sound of it. Yeah, I got a drink really? too. We'll stop by now and then. Indeed. That's not the funny thing. The funny thing is they went back up there today to pick it up, but the bike was gone. Now ain't that a head scratcher? Look, Copus is all really fascinating, but uh. Now hold on. Here's the fascinating part. They swear that old bike, well, it looked a lot like the one Boozer used to ride. Okay, so let me get this straight, Cope. You guys went up to O'Leary Mountain. You found what you thought was Boozer's bike. And the first thing you thought of was, hey, why don't we just go back and steal it? Salvage, Deke. Salvage. But no, that was my second thought. My first was, whatever happened to old Boozer? Manny says he hasn't seen him around for some time. I don't know, Cope. Next time I see him, I'll let him know how much you miss him. St. John out! Deke, we got a problem. Yeah, Tuck. What's up? You remember Alkai said that Rippers were spotted. Heading our way? Yeah, I remember. He said he didn't try to stop them. Well, we've seen him scouting the hot springs. A couple of men followed him back to their camp. In the cliffs south of the Twin Craters. Goddamn Rippers. Don't worry about it. I'll take care of them. I got a score to settle. A score? What are you talking about? Yeah, ne never mind. Can I help you? Hey, what do you need? Hey, what's up? Oof. Yeah, Addy, what's up? Can you stop by the infirmary and get a chance? Nothing wrong? No, I just want to talk to you. Uh, yeah, okay.
getting out of here alive. This will do. What's your name, asshole? Tucker, you there? You didn't gotta worry about that Ripper camp no more. I took care of him every last one of them. Nice job. Sounds like you did have a score to settle. Alki said there's rumors going around that the Rippers are after the biker boys. Let's just say they fucked with the wrong guy, sneaking out.
protectors, guiding them as they guide us. Well, how do your drugged out disciples even listen to this shit? <laughs> Practice what you preach and give it a rest. What do we got? Stop by. I've got work for you. Duck, hey, okay. I'll see if I can make time peeking out.
got you. Hey, Deacon, you got a second? How's William? I haven't seen him lately. How's Boozer? How the hell are any of us? He's surviving. Yeah, well, then he's doing better than most. Yeah. Listen, you need to keep an eye on him. What do you mean? Well, losing an arm is a big adjustment. He's given up the life he had. What's so much of a life, Addy? I You're his friend. The only one he's got.
Loser's fine. He'll live anyway. I got all kinds of stuff. Yep. Ah, good choice. See you around. You need something? Hey, how's it going? Shit, you really need a lot of fuel. I'll be here, if you need me. See you around. Looking to buy, I hope. Having a look. Is that okay? Shit. Hey, hey, it's okay. You wanna die out here? Look, there's a camp in 
Yeah, yeah. I'll go. I'll go. Head to Lost Lake. Ask for Ricky Patel. She'll take you in. Uh, thank you. Tell them it was Deacon. They'll know. Okay, keep running. Stay out of sight. Okay, Ricky, I'm near Eden Hill. Yeah, Drifter's still here. Can you handle it? Well, I guess we'll know soon enough. Deacon out. <clears throat> All right, gentlemen, if I could just swing by, shoot up the place. Nah, I just think it's time you move along. One of the camps can use this. I'll take this. It's done. They won't be shooting up any more camps. Oof, thank God. I'll let Iron Mike know. You know, keep this up and you and Mike are gonna be best friends before you know it. Bye, Deke.
Got all day. You tracked down those boys, shot up the gate, took off. Hey, Mike, yeah. Uh, I found them, and they won't be coming back. You seem like it's getting worse. A lot of squatters and... How's the work going? Excuse me, I ain't got time to fucking chit-chat. Okay, see you. Keep an eye on him. I'm gonna make sure he doesn't do anything stupid. Uh, see what I can do. I don't know. Mike, it's getting worse. I don't know. Mike, I think it's like you were saying about tourists always coming up here from California. Well, I guess if I had the choice, yeah, I'd rather be here than down there. Yeah, I guess so. See you, Deke. Learn my gun. Goddamn truth or bullshit. 
Last I checked, the grasshoppers all armed themselves with the teeth, came in, killed all your fucking ants, and took everything you own. So, okay. if you're gonna tell parables, why don't you just get them right? Here for your bike? Hey, how's it going? Okay, okay. I'll top you off. Later, Deke. Last time I was on the road, and it will be the last time. Ran into a pack of infected dogs, wolves, whatever the hell they are. Runners, they call them. I was on this crappy bike, falling apart, though. Couldn't outrun them. Started snapping at me and running along. Okay. That's your best bet. Right there. I don't know about that, Mike. We lost people in there before. We, lo we lost wh who? When? A few weeks back. Torres and Evans. Looking for supplies. I told you that no, they were... No! God damn it, you didn't! I told you that we went after them, but the entrance ah. was caved in. Their bikes were outside, but the place was crawling. Do you remember? I don't even know if they made it inside. What's the trouble? Ah, uh, we just... We're going over the papers, the ones from Sherman's camp. Mm -hmm. There's a mine that was getting ready to expand. Sure, and there's probably explosives stored on site. Yeah. Except now Schizo tells me we may have lost two men on the inside. Hey, I never said that, Mike. Well, look, I, give me the map, I'll go get the explosives and like, hey, people will. inside. What the hell is going you on? You may trust him, Mike, but I don't. Tell me, how much is Tucker paying for a box of TNT these you days? You hold on, he's doing his part. Oh, really? He's doing what? Besides breaking the treaty with the Rippers, skipping work, staying out with Ricky all day, what's he been doing, huh? What you been doing, huh? Sitting on your ass while everyone does all the work. I keep this camp safe mm. from marauders, thieves, and drifters. You knock it off. Knock it off! Hey, you don't trust him? You go with him. Do you remember some? Both of you, remember, we are all part of the same camp. That's fine. Fine by me. In the morning, we'll take our bikes and we'll go. We'll go right now. <laughs> now. Yeah. Now. In the middle of the night. Sure. You know, it's dark out. There'll be less freaks inside the mine. Oh, that's right. Oh, since you've been skipping work, you've been chasing that black choppers, and now you're some kind of freak expert. Don't need it? to be a fucking expert to know that the freaks come out at night. Okay, okay. Oh, yeah? come on, enough already! Okay. Okay. You want to go now? We'll go now. But I'll hold on to this. <sighs> Jesus Christ. Hey, look, he's got his issues, just like everybody else does. But he does his job. <laughs> Tell that to Torres and Evans. Deke, I guess I'm just making sure he's not gonna have some kind of accident down in that mine. Jesus, Mike, who do you think I am? I'm still trying to figure that out. See you when you get back. Son of a bitch. Where are we going? Lucky lad, know where it is? Yeah. I'll be waiting for you. Yeah, try to keep up. Deacon, you there? This is Lost Lake Camp. Over. Yeah, Ricky. What's up? I stopped by to see you. Obviously, you're not there. Schizo and I are on a run for Iron Mike. I'll be back by morning. What's up? I just wanted to see when we could get out, fix that transformer. That hot shower still calling your name? Something like that. <laughs> we'll be back by morning. Talk to him. You can out.
Thought you were gonna be waiting for me. I got sidetracked. So these belong to Mike's men? My men? But yeah. Torres and Evans. They weren't drifters, but they'd been out in the shit a few times. I thought they could handle it. I guess you were wrong. Shit's already been parted out. Goddamn scavengers everywhere. Skizza, why wouldn't you bring their shit back with you when you were out here looking for them? Because there were too many freaks. <laughs> That's why. Like them. Only a lot more. Come on. Fucking nuts. God, I hate those little suckers. <laughs> Door's locked. Can you force it open? Ah, it's jammed with something from the inside. No idea. Gotta find another way in. Hey, over here. And I think I can boost you onto this roof. Yeah. Ready? All of them. You okay? Yeah. Thanks for asking. <laughs> Locked tight. Gizzo! I got him. Great, great. Look around. Uh, see if you can find some flare. Wait a second. You didn't bring a flashlight? 
Yeah, but the batteries are dead. Shit's getting hard to find these days. At least ones that have any juice left. Flares. Gizzo, I found a box of flares. Yeah, see if you can force open the door. I'll come in and grab them. Flares are over here. Yeah. Give me the keys. What, you mean like these keys? Yeah, kind of. Hey, 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 I got an idea. How about you lead us to the strong boxes? I'll unlock them. You got a problem with that? No problem. Just don't lose them. Mm. Yeah. Okay. I'm gonna keep that in mind. I got him. Let's head in. Right behind you. See? It's just like I said. Looks like we should be able to squeeze in through here. Give me a hand. Here, push. I'm pushing, I'm pushing. There. Wedge it against that boulder. Got it. There. <sighs> Looks stable to you. Stable enough. Remember, keep your gun holstered. I thought you said it was gonna be clear! I never said that, and I mean it. If there are any freaks in here, one shot will bring them right down on our heads. I heard you already. Jesus. Okay, first expansion area is right off the main shaft. Come on this way. Right behind you. Ah, shit, we're not getting none of that. Look at the map. Is there another tunnel? A ventilation shaft? Map shows they started a connecting tunnel here. Looks like it was unstable, so they boarded it up. Where? Uh, back this way. Looks like they boarded it up. Well, this doesn't look exactly stable. I thought I already said that. All I got is this. You got the flashlight. You have the honor. They never completed any of this expansion work. I mean, it seems like one stick of dynamite will bring this whole place down on our heads. It doesn't seem so bad. Hmm. <laughs> 
broken bones. Jesus. Oh, that was close. Yeah. Well, we're committed to this shit now. Come on. This way. What are you doing? What's it look like? You're dropping players. Why? You got the map. This thing's a fucking maze. Gonna need help knowing which tunnels we checked. We go left here. Got it. Come here. What? Easier, man. Yeah. Every time I saw Torres, he had on this same damn vest. I kept telling him, wearing bright orange is gonna get you killed, bro. I guess it didn't matter in here. His buddy lost the arm, blood out, and kept Torres fed for a week. You have a resort to that? A few lines I haven't crossed, that's one of them. Yeah. Me, uh... Stand back. I'm not leaving him for the freaks. Let's get the hell out of here. Yeah. This is it. Come on, we can squeeze through here. Following you. That's a tight squeeze. You got this? Who sits on his ass all day in the camp? Oh, very funny. Okay, the first expansion area should be around this corner. If you're reading the map right. I'm reading it right. See? You still got the keys? Yeah, right here. Sorry, did you not believe me? Sure, I believed you. Come on. Maybe they put them all in one place. Go check the other one. This way. Let's double back. Make sure we didn't miss any side tunnels. Excuse me, hold, hold up, hold up. This doesn't seem right. What? What are you talking about? This isn't the way that we came in. What? You think these flares got up and moved themselves? Maybe I got turned around. Well, now, wait a minute, God damn it! Th this is the main tunnel. What? It's the... It's the main tunnel. You see the tracks? We weren't following any tracks on our way in. What the hell? But, but these are my flares, damn it. How did the... Oh, someone's fucking with us. Come on, this way. Hold up, hold up. Wait a second. Who the hell's in here? Come on out. Show yourself! Excuse me, put that thing away. What are you talking about? What I'm talking about is one shot. One. It's all it takes to bring all the freaks in these tunnels down on top of us. Well, I thought you said these tunnels will be clear this time. No. <laughs> what the hell? Look out! You can't get a shot! Oh, God damn it! God damn it, it's got the keys! Shit! Where you going? It's got the keys, we gotta catch it! <laughs> God damn it, Schizo, it's getting away! Damn it, you 
shit, get back here. Come on, you shit, give me back those fucking keys. Where do you go? I told you what would happen if you fired your weapon. What was I supposed to do? Throw rocks at him? supposed to do is you're supposed to fucking listen to me. Next time, try this. Whatever. You're welcome. For what? For saving your ass. If you hadn't run off, my ass wouldn't need saving. <laughs> Are we ready to fucking finish this? Yeah. I'm ready. This way. Bro's off. Addy said it looked like someone tried to burn his tax off. There's the Rippers, wasn't it? You got a point, Schizo? Had a drifter coming. Word's gone out. Rippers are looking for two men. Mongrels? Sound like anyone you know? Well, as you can see, I'm still wearing the cut. We're not hiding, Schizo. Carlos wants Boozer. He won't have any trouble finding him. But he's gonna have to go through me first. What'd you do to him? Gotta be something long before breaking the treaty. Long before I... You know what? I don't know and I don't care. Have I killed a few rippers in my day? You're goddamn right I have. And after what they did to Boozer, I'm gonna go right on killing the crazy sons of bitches. Yeah? And Carlos is crazier than any of them. You don't want to be on his shit list, bro. <laughs> What'd I just say? I don't care. And I'm not your bro. Remember what I told Iron Mike? Carlos can go fuck himself. Hey, just looking out for you. You're one of us now, right? Yeah, yeah, right. Don't worry about me and Boozer. We can look out for ourselves.
me see. Ah, oh, nice. This ought to make the old man happy. Shit's heavy. What are you talking about? You know the old man. Same with me. I got this. Nice. He thinks that his treaty with the Rippers is gonna keep us safe. The thing is, they don't give a shit about any treaty. The only reason they haven't come down here in force is because they're too busy up north, hitting Copeland, the hot springs. Yeah, I know I was there. So you know what I'm talking about. The Rippers are coming. And Iron Mike. He's just gonna let it happen. He's gonna let those bald-headed freak alikes wash over us like a goddamn red tie. Excuse so you don't know that. So glad to see the light of day. Shit, something else we agree on. That's twice in one day. Hold on for a second. Someone out there. Hey, buddy. Someone's inside. Hey, what the hell? Biden out there. Oh. Sit in your pants. Come on now. Find the Rutgers. Come on. Find him. Sister Mike. Mister, the boy's got a little rambunctious. I All right, uh, split up. A jumpy we'll surround there, you know? him. On, Got it. Watch your back. Yeah, don't you worry about me. Come on, mister. We don't mean you no harm. This is all just a misunderstanding. It is. We're looking for you to, like, join up with us. You can use the help. What do you say? Hey, Drifter. I like your style. You got what it takes to survive out here. Why don't you, uh, lower your weapons? Come out and chat for a bit. See if we can't reach an arrangement. What the hell was that? Mister, how you doing? You got my boys kind of amped up, if I'm being honest. If you come out now, maybe I can stop them from killing you. What do you say? <coughs> come out here and talk to us. Yes, sir. Look out! I got him. <laughs> Smash their goddamn heads in! Jesus. That was tough. I'm here! I'm here! What you run for? Shoot him! Shoot oh, him! Bring him out! No way we ever leave here alive! Better than nothing. Stop! Shut! Move on him! We got him! Not moving, huh? Cover me! Surround him! I think that's all the bastards. Yeah. <laughs> Come on. We gotta get that box of dynamite. Must have been the same assholes who parted out the bikes. Ride by and they see ours. I figured they'd make an easy score. I guess it wasn't as easy as they'd hoped. You know, I hate to say it, but we actually make a good team, you and I. Well, then don't say it. Hey, there's something I gotta say. When you and Boozer rolled into camp and Iron Mike welcomed you back again with goddamn open arms, I thought it was another sign the old man was losing it. Going soft. Okay, what's your point, Skizo? My point is that you and me, we see eye to eye. I get that now. You know, same as me. If Iron Mike don't wake the hell up, the camp's not gonna last another six months. Okay, still waiting for your point. Look, I know I've been busting your balls. We both know that. But a lot of people know what you've done. For your friend, how you been doing shit for the camp. Changes are coming, brother. 
When Iron Mike retires, let's call it, I say you and me, we step up and run the camp together. You and me? Run the camp? <laughs> That's really what you wanted to talk hey, to me about. Hey, hear me out, goddammit. <laughs> Just listen to me a minute. Uh -huh. Look, I got a lot of friends on the camp council, and they agree. Most of them say the old man's gotta go. Yeah, that's bullshit, because Ricky would never go for well, She's as soft as the old Mike man, as you... trusts you. Well, that's his mistake. One of many. No, it ain't gonna be mine. Look, we all do things to survive, CSO. I get that. You remember how I said there's some lines I ain't crossed? Stabbing a friend in the back? That's one of them. Better one old man in the entire camp. You think about that. let alone make him head of security. Lost Lake Camp, come in. Geek of St. John to Iron Mike. Geek, you and Schizo, you find him? The explosives? Yeah, Mike, uh, we got him. Schizo's on his way back with everything we found. Listen, Mike, I gotta tell you. That's great. That's great! Now, we can't use them till we find some dead cord. You know that, right? I'll take a look through the files we got. Mike, got listen to me. He's up. He's up. He's gonna run and kill us! <clears throat> now I got you. <clears throat> got him! <him>. Move <clears throat> all back! <clears throat> Mike! Mike, listen to me. Schizo, he's up. Jesus, what now? You boys trying to shoot your damn heads off again? No, Mike, but he, uh, he wants to run the camp, Mike. He told me him... Oh, hell, I know all about that. Remember, I told you already. Schizo thinks I'm a pat... Where's Boozer? I don't know. What do you mean you don't know? I thought he was with you. Yeah, he was, and then he, he took off. Some shit. Excuse me, what the fuck are you telling me? Get off me! Look, he grabbed a bottle of whiskey, he said he was going home. I don't know. Motherfucker, and you didn't even try to stop him, did you? Hey! We tried! <laughs> you gotta know when to cut a man loose. You gotta know when a man's done. Hey, good to see you. Hey, Deke, can I ask you something? Could I stop you, Blair? Could I? <laughs> no. I heard there was a big fight between Schizo and Iron Mike. W what's going on? Do you know? See you later. Can I help you? Nope. Ricky, you there? What's wrong? Boozer went out, but he didn't come back. You heading up there? Uh, need help? No, I'll find him. Boozer, you there? Booze man. Uh, yeah, Deke. Yeah, Deke. Oh, I'm here. Where the hell are you? It's it's getting dark out. Where? Wait a sec, I got it. I'm at the farm. I'm at the, f the farm. 
Jesus, stay there. I'm coming to get you. Alright, here's the farm. This is where Ricky said the work crew was. Boozer! You there? Boozman! Damn it! Okay, here's the farm. Hey, where's Boozer? Who? Nah, no, there's no one here. Work crew's gone home for the day. No, he's still here. The, the big guy with one arm. Yeah, yeah, I know who you mean. He headed off that way, towards the old farmhouse. Thought he was getting a ride there. If you see him, tell him, tell him to stay here. Radio me or Ricky. Sure, man. Whatever. said that he had a, a bottle of whiskey. Where would he go to drink a bottle of whiskey? One of these uh, farmhouses. This is... Loser! Are you in here? This looks like it. Good. Okay. Finally. Jesus. Boozer! Booze man! Hey, Dick. <laughs> How's it going, brother? You said you were at the farm. I just left, and you are not at the farm, Boozer. Uh, wait. Oh! Oh, the other farm. Dick, I'm, um, I, I, I went to the other farm. You know, I, 
I found a sixer. <laughs> so I thought I go for a walk, you know, like this little walk. And since I was so uh, I just walked to uh, the other front, you know. Oh, McDonald had a farm. He had, he had, ah, shit, ah. Take a look around. I gotta reload. Loser, are you in here? Booze man. <laughs> Upstairs. Okay, now where? Another bedroom. And another beer bottle. Bed sweater. Oh, I'm not gonna ask. Boozer, where are you? Booze! I, wait, I thought you were gonna come, um, have a beer with me and take a walk. Boozer, just, where are you? Would you look around? Did you tell me what you see, what's nearby? Give me a, give me a landmark or something. <sighs> Already told you! Oh, don't look at that shit. Look at what, Boozer? What do you see? The road! The road's, uh, wow, it's just, it's gone. Like, like somebody came and I uh, just, like, whoosh, swept it away. The road's gone? Oh, yeah. The, the, like, somebody came and just swept it away. Gone. I'm walking and walking. I'm, and, and now the road is just gone. Where, where are you going, Boozer? That's where I'm going. Just stay right there. Just stay where you are. Get down. Get out of sight. Listen for my bite. I'm coming. I'm not hiding from no one. I'm going home. Boozer, you there? I'm getting close. I, uh, I followed your tracks. Just like you taught me. Uh, Boozer, come on, man. Stay put, will ya? For a stroll. Hey, Dig. How's it going, old buddy? Boozer, where are you going? Home. Oh, that's where I'm going, home. Oh, well, we can't home. go back to O'Leary Mountain. No, I'm not going to fucking O'Leary Mountain. I'm going to farewell. Shit, come on. We gotta get you. Told to be no, doing right. You wanna take a swing at me? Fine. Get in line behind them. Bring it! So this is it. 
This is how we're going out? Get out no, here, no, I don't think so. Ah, uh, Boozer, huh? Bro? Boozer? The nice year old lady was killed. What did I say to you? Nothing that you know. What did I say to you, huh? I found you halfway through a case of whiskey. You were gonna drink yourself to death. What did I say to you? You grabbed the bottle. And you chugged it. It was a lot of goddamn whiskey. And you told me that if I was gonna drink myself to death, you'd be right there with me. So that's what brothers do. So like I said, Boozer. Is this it? That's how we're going out. Go, go, go! I'm going! Go faster then. Ah! Cars! Wrecked cars. I see them, loser! of them. Uh, we're gonna be okay. I, I know. I knew it all along. Hey, hey, Dee. Rosa, listen. I just want to say thank you, man. I mean it. Rosa, uh... Just listen, goddammit. You came out here and you saved my sorry ass. Again. I owe you, brother. I owe you. No, no, Boozer. I owe you. All right, look. If it weren't for you, I uh, I would have been dead a long time ago. Or worse. I thought you said there was nothing worse than being dead. Yeah. Well, I was wrong. Someone's at the gate. It's okay. Opening the gate. You gonna be okay? Oh, hell yeah. Oh, I hear a bunk calling my name. Yeah, Ricky, I found him. How is he? Let's just say that tomorrow he's gonna have one hell of a hangover. A hangover? Good. I'll remember that when I stop yeah, by to see him at six in the morning. Trying to make forever. Yeah, yeah, thank, thank God. He deserves it. Deke, I'm glad he's okay. <laughs> Hey, Ricky, I, uh, I got a favor to ask. Yeah, what's up, Deke? Um, it's about Boozer's arm. Uh, I saw that hook that you made for him, and, uh, it's great, but, uh, don't you think it might be better if, instead of a hook, I don't know, maybe with something like a knife or a blade or something, you know? Uh, oh, oh, hold on. Uh, what is 
Thank you. So, oh. who... I'm sorry about that. So, uh, you, you want me to... You want me to create a prosthetic blade for Boozer? Well, yeah, I just thought I might cheer him up, make him feel, you know, more of a... You want me to weaponize Boozer? Well, I wouldn't put it that way. I'm just fucking with you, Deke. I think uh, it's a great idea. Uh, I will go check some parts, and I will radio what I need. Cool? Okay. Okay. Boozer, you there? Yeah, dude. I just got off work. I got to spend the morning cleaning. It's a shit. Jesus, goddamn damn schism. Let him in. I'm pretty busy with that. Holy shit. What are you doing? Still out there chasing Nero? Playing follow the chopper? Yeah. Good luck. Tracking down what happened to Sarah. No, not yet. How long are you gonna let him keep stringing you? He's not. He's he's looking into it. It takes time. Just don't get your hopes up, brother. Can I help That's you? all I'm saying. Out. Deke, thanks for stopping by. What's going on? Remember Larson? The guy yeah, who spotted that cow in Marion Forks? The one I told you about? Yeah, I remember. Well, he went back out there to see what else he could find. He hasn't come back. We think he's been taken by a group of drifters who've been moving through the Belknap wilderness. Shit, where was he last seen? A building on the east side of town, the old Wagon Hotel. Yeah, I know the one. Thanks, Deke. I appreciate it. Mike, hey, what's up? Ricky handed me a shopping list. Said it was for Boozer. Said I should radio you. Okay, where's Ricky? I don't ask. Anyway, she needs a galvanized metal pipe. Two. Kind used hey, in building. Hold on. She needs a carbon alloy blade. The kind hunters use. And finally, some metal scrap. That doesn't make any sense to you? I... Yeah, Mike, like you said, I don't ask. <laughs> Deacon. <sighs> what do I need? I need a blade or a metal tube. Scrap. Oh, Jesus, Ricky. Metal tube, metal tube. It can't just be any metal tube, can it? Gotta find one from the construction site. Wait, 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 hold on. There was a house. Metal 
construction. Very close, but I can find something there. Hey, uh, Deacon, can you stop by? Oh, let me guess. You got a job for me. Yeah. Okay. Say it, John. Out. Losing an arm, Cope? Maybe when you do, you'll find yourself wanting a bottle of whiskey, or two, or three. In the meantime, shut the hell up. Men coming! Now I got you. <laughs> I think it's like you were saying about tours, always coming up here from California. I guess if I had the choice, yeah, I'd rather be here than down there. I don't mean no harm, just out here trying to survive. Gotcha. Burn, you asshole. So, uh, what, what were you saying? Yeah, I guess so. See you, Deke. Iron Mike out. You can't hurt me! Boozer, you up? This is Deke. Must be sleeping. Deke? Is that you? Shit. Sorry, man. I, I didn't mean to wake you. Brother, after working a shovel all day, I pretty much passed out as soon as I hit the bunk. What's going on? Just checking on you, brother. Just making sure that you didn't wander off on another midnight dance with a horde. Hey, don't worry about me. 
From the sound of it, you're the one out on a joyride. Hey, I gotta get some shut-eye. Talk later. Out. Is that it? Is that all you got? Yeah, that's what I thought. Next time, you set up an ambush, don't pick on the wrong guy. I wonder if they had a bunker around here. I'll bet they do. This is Radio Free Oregon. The truth shall set you free. It's the Wild West again. And some men are acting like law and order are a thing of the past. But last I checked, this is still the United States of America. And in America, the right of property shall not be infringed. We have the right to claim territory, to hold it, and to defend it. Sure. We took this land from the Indians. No point in rewriting history, but we took it by force. And force is the only thing that will move us now. We're not gonna roll over for a bunch of bullies. If the feds or rippers or marauders think they're gonna come rolling into my wilderness, they got another thing coming. The strongest survive, the strongest take, and the strongest will succeed. This is Mark Copeland for Radio Free Oregon. Don't believe the lies. That's something Cope Law and Order are a thing of the past. What the hell are you talking about? But yeah, you got a point about force being the only thing that matters now. Force and a lot of goddamn ammo. Here, a map, yes. Hey, what's this? Crafting, yes, 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 good. It's like Boozer says, I hear a bunk calling my name. Ready to go back at it.
of a bitch! Wait, 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 where, where was that sporting goods store? Tucker, I'm at the old wagon hotel and I'm heading in. Do you see Larson? Is he there? I don't know, but if he is, I'm gonna find him. St. John out.
Larson, how are you holding up? St. John, you know, I thought I'd come into town, find a drink, hang out with my buds. As soon as I cut you loose, you get the hell out of here. Oh, you don't gotta tell me twice. I don't know where the hell you came from, but Jesus, man. Go, run. some scrap. to a nest. Whew, I can smell it.
is it? God damn, nest. It's gotta be close. Another nest. Let's go. Talk you there. Found Larson. He should be on his way back to the hot springs. Nice job. I'll have the outline keep a lookout for him. More rippers have been spotted moving north into Belknap. We need all the men we can get. Tugger out. Oh, sniper on the road. Shit. Oh, 
Caught you like that, huh? Shoot at me, you fucking bastard. Nice punch! Hey. Deke, this is Tucker. You out there? Uh, Tuck, yeah, I'm here, and I'm guessing you got another job for me. So, okay, I'll stop by, Deacon out. Deer Crossing, ah, uh, something's ever changed. Should look for fuel.
Hey. Hey. I got those parts that you were asked for. Oh, great. Well, uh, check back in a few. I'll see what I can do. Yeah. Uh, Ricky. Thanks. Yeah. Boozer's one of us now. Good one. Here you go. All right. Hey, see ya. How's it going? Having a look. Is that okay? Don't beat her up too bad. Later. You need something? Dave, I'm really worried. Uh, Ricky, what's up? The Butler twins, Abigail and Gabby. You know them? No, but uh, I've seen them around. What's, what's, what's going on? What's wrong? They went out fishing yesterday, and they didn't come back. Well, the lake sure is pretty safe so long as they stay out of the marsh. That's just it. They weren't at Lost Lake. They went east over to the Metolius River. What the hell were they thinking? Okay, all right, yeah. I'll, uh, I'll see if I can find them. Deacon, thank you so much. Deacon up. What else can you tell me? Before everything went to hell, the girls' family had a fishing site that they always used to go to. I marked it on your map. Okay, I'll start there. Digging up. Okay. Fishing pole. That's just the one. It's yeah, gotta be the right place. Okay, the girls were fishing. Oh, shit. Marauders, Jesus. Jesus. Broke it 
over his head. Okay, where you go, Abigail? Don't go far away. The tracks lead down this road. Inside here. I saw something. <laughs> Was that a rock? That did it. Gabby, and if she's out here, I'm gonna find her. Okay. Thanks, Deke. Ricky out. I'll take that. Sorry, uh, we just have to get you back to camp. Come on, come on, with me. No, no! No, I can make it myself. I can. Okay, go, go. 